10 and 2. What it do? We here. 10 and 2. 10 out of 12 games. We 10 and 2 and we here. We keep on going, baby. We here. <laughs> By any means, baby, you know that. As long as we just keep putting effort together with preparation, uh, this football team can be special. Let's just keep stacking wins together. Let's keep growing. Let's keep learning. Okay? All right. Congratulations, man. 10 and 2. A hell of a job. We played Thursday night. We got a quick turnaround. No, what do I tell you about? How, do you think anybody cares? Nobody cares. Whether we're going to be a little bit sore, or a little bit tired on Thursday. No, sir. We're going to be excited to go play. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter. Let's go play. That's what we're going to do. All right? <laughs> hell of a job, man. I'm really proud of you. Ring it in. Ring it in. Ring it in. Really proud of you, man. Here we go. Here we go. Keep getting better, man. Raiders on three. One, two, three. You were going to make a statement. After that penalty, he came in my face. So, yeah, I mean, you, you know, for yeah, the ref do, you know, they do a good job, man. I just, you know, playing ball, you know. Looks like you were on a mission, though, from that point forward. Yeah, man, uh, by any means. We say that all the time, and I think that's going to be our quote for now, by any means, you know. Uh, we don't care if it's ugly, if it's pretty, we can, by any means, we're going to make it happen. We end up with the how big is this game coming up for you guys? Going to Kansas City now, you know. It's real big, real big. Conference, real big. We need this one. Everybody on the same page, and we can go out here and play ball. Do you guys feel, no matter how far behind you get, that you you have this ability to come back and play games now? Uh, I don't think that's the thought process. I think um, it's whatever, whatever we need to do to win. You know, I don't think we are really too much. You know, dwell on the score. Mm -hmm. Like it's four, we down 15. We need this. We don't panic. No sweat. Then we just go out there and play ball. Where did you feel the momentum in the game change? Where did I feel it? Mm -hmm. Where did you see it? When was it when the defense like held them to three and out? That's or? when everybody, you know, the team, you know, everybody played a big part in this win and everybody did their job. And we, we handled it right, and we came out with the How impressive was it to see Derek play like every snap out of the shotgun? I mean, it was an, an unusual look for him to do that, and he was able to, to, to get to move the ball. Like I said, by any means, man. Mm -hmm. And we need to, you know, get on the center, snap, however you need to do it, we're going to get it. Is there, is there such thing as a fast Sunday? We need a quick, quick, we'll call it quick Sunday. All right, uh, obviously with the extremely short week, First thing we want to do is enjoy the win. It's great to, great to get win number 10. Uh, we want to keep stacking up wins best we can. Uh, it was a good football team that we played. Uh, they had some, uh, they gave us all we could handle early and uh, even early into the third quarter. And then uh, I felt like all three phases kind of clicked and started coming together and, um, and we pulled away and took control of the game. So really good team effort. You know, I think everybody contributed and um, we've been really good about kind of staying the course and staying in the fight and uh, fighting away. And uh, today was another example of that. So really, really proud of our guys and, uh, you know, encouraged to uh, enjoy this one quick and then uh, come in ready to work tomorrow, getting prepared for the trip to Kansas City. So questions? Well, um, there were a couple things schematically, but I think most importantly, I think we just settled in and started making plays, started doing our job. And, um, you know, once we started doing that, um, I think you saw what we're capable of as a football team when all three phases come together. No, we're, we're always engaged with our guys, so... Um, it wasn't anything that dramatic that occurred at one point or another. I think it was, um, you know, us stay, stay in the course. Well, we're gonna we're gonna give each other uh, sixty minutes worth, you know, or more if it if it need be. Um, you know, we're committed to that for each other, uh, every player in that room, every coach in that room. Um, you know, that's what we're going to give. We're going to give great effort, you know, and, um, and go out there and play the full game, you know, and know that you know, we believe 
as long as we stay together and give that kind of effort, we can have happy endings you know, where we you know, have a big smile. So, you know, of course, that's, uh, that's what we're all about is finding a way to win somehow, somehow some way, and uh, being able to smile when you go home. Uh, I like I like both. I, li- I like getting the twenty nine. I like giving the zero. So <laughs> you know, you only choose one. Uh, yeah. Well, fortunately, they add up. They they, they work together. Uh, you know, we're able to pull ahead while we're not letting them score, and then while we are scoring ourselves. So um, uh, you know, it's really good for us. The Shady was gone for a series. He probably just catching his breath. <laughs> he's running crazy. I mean, the guy's a heck of a running back. I, you know, he's he's one of the one of the best in the business. And uh, you know, I told him that afterwards. I said, "Man, you are one heck of a running back. I've got a lot of respect for you." So, um, yeah, he's a good player. You know, he made made life difficult for us, uh, but we settled in, got got the stops we needed, and, uh, and got a nice victory. Have more than one guy there? Yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> tough, tough to tackle him by himself. You know, reminds me a little bit of a guy I played against named Barry Sanders. Um, you know, just because he's he makes so many people miss, uh, has that ability to kind of hover a little bit and then accelerate, and uh, not a lot of guys can do that. I think he's pretty good in the first, second, third, fourth. I think. I think he's a pretty good player. Um, we feel like we've got a good team, and uh, we just continue doing the things that we need to do to, you know, make the plays and win the game. Jack, did Derek get dinged on his left hand in that third quarter? It looked like you could look down the sideline. I think he was okay. I think maybe, maybe after uh, uh, one of those runs, they just want to make sure everything was okay, but I think he was fine. Jack Marquette. Well, you know, uh, it's, a, it's definitely a teachable moment. Um, he's, you know, he, he's not mean-spirited with what he's doing. He's having fun. He enjoys himself. He had the Pee Wee Herman out there today. Um, I saw that. I got a giggle. You know, it's like, you know, he's enjoying himself, you know. Now, right there, I mean, he just didn't realize you can't do that. And he was like, really? I, I couldn't do that? Oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Ref, you know. So... Um, I mean, he, he, it really was, um, it was innocent, and obviously, you know, we'll make sure we don't leave any stone unturned when it comes to teaching to make sure we understand what we need to do there. But that, that should never happen again. Jack, is it to the point yet where at the end of a close game or in the end game, you're just kind of waiting for this Khalil Mack? Man, he, <laughs> Khalil Mack uh, is, uh, is really making his mark on these ball games, you know, and, uh, you know, that interception that he caused, you know, um, you know, I mean, he's just, he just keeps showing up huge and, um, that's what great players do. He's a great player. Jack, this uh, game against Kansas City, is it just another game on your schedule or is it something that you need to prove to yourself and your team? It's Chiefs week, man. We mean another game. Yeah. I understand that. <laughs> Uh, I took I took a Denver team winning. I beat them twice. They were nine and zero. We went in there and beat them twice. So for us, um, they they won the first first one here, um, and uh, we look forward to going in there and competing. You know, it's a good football team, and we are too. And um, you yeah, know, we look forward to it. Um, yeah, the one over on the right side. Um, I think they were all out on that one. And uh, you know, we felt that we saw that look that we'd have an opportunity to hurt him, and uh, and that was one where we connected on it. Well, I'm, I'm sure we all um, saw what happened. Um, I did not address it uh, with the team uh, specifically. Uh, 
uh, you know, I know obviously, you know, our prayers go out to the families involved and, and um, you know, friends and family that are involved, and uh, it's a tragedy. And, you know, obviously, you know, we're very proud of this area and, and the people in this area and several people, several, you know, people had their lives taken away. Um, and it's really, really sad, really unfortunate. So our prayers are, go out to all those people. No, run. I mean, the zero is as big a part of that as the 29. <laughs> yeah. So should we be more impressed with the 29 or the zero? I mean, I'm, uh, either, way, either way you put it, man, um, we wanted to get the win by any means. Uh, the O being that is, 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 a, is a testament to that. You were missing a few parts in the front seven. Was there yeah. any talk come in like everybody's got to pick it up just a little bit to compensate for that? I mean, yeah, for, for the most part. Uh, but you got a nice guy in mentality. And the younger guys that come in, you know, I step up. up, up, up. <coughs> Kaza, Kaza stepped in and got a sack, his first sack mm -hmm. in his career. And, uh, came in kind of a big yeah, time, Yeah, yeah, too, yeah, so. came in a big time. And uh, we knew that he could step in and, and do some things. And, um, it's just everybody being on the same page and every, all the young guys stepping in and we need. Short week? Yeah. Chiefs coming up? Yeah. Excited? Yeah. Oh, very excited. We fired up, man. Fired up. It's a big game for us. What's the biggest challenge of, of having a short week? Obviously, you're not off tomorrow. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> not off tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> technically, it's going to be a Wednesday. Uh, that's a grind day for us. And, uh, we're looking forward to it, man. we got to embrace it. Get uh, ready for it. Big, 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 big challenge. Hey, Kilo, are you in the fourth quarter? Are you doing the MVP chance when you're making Steph, Steph Curry? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no Steph Curry showing up today, man. Uh, but, uh, no, it's not, it is what it is, man. Balling and, and, and trying to make plays. At the end of the game, to just turn it on and light it up like that. Yeah, um, you know, we definitely uh, didn't play the way we were capable of playing in the first half. Uh, again, no, 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 um, I'm trying to get the found a way uh, at the end, turned it on, started making plays. Uh, it was a whole completely different half for us on offense. What is it about this offense that allows you guys to be able to, when you guys get back up against the wall, be able to kind of flip the switch and, and, just, and just turn around? I don't know, you know, I, I just, again, I, I, I say it time and time again, but I just think the fact that we've been in those situations, it just, you know, it just helps. Um, any, anytime you get repetition at, Certain situations, um, it just helps. Uh, you, you're comfortable in, this, in those situations, and so you, you you know what you have to do, and you're able to go out there and get it done. Uh, each man, each individual uh, guy doing their job. Two big shots today. You're up to 11 on the season. I think uh, I saw the first first guy since Marcus Allen in 1990 with double digit touchdowns on the ground for the team. What does, what does that mean for you to be able to? I mean, obviously it's, it's helping the team. And what does that mean? For you? Um, I just think it's a testament to what the old line has been doing up front. Um, and, and I think it's a combination of uh, the backs as a whole. Yeah, I'm going in there and putting in a bunch of touchdowns, especially there on the goal line. But um, you know, that first one, I told Jay, thank you, because uh, he's the one that set that up for me. Um, you know, DeAndre, I, I, uh, it's been a, a, a you know, a team effort, a group effort, starting with the old line and the running backs as a whole. Um, you know, I've just been fortunate to have those opportunities uh, to finish off the runs. Usually it's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a play, it's a score, it's some kind of game-changing type of moment. Can you, can you, in your opinion, can you put a finger on what it was today? You know, I, I, I th once they went up twice or two scores on us, uh, obviously I think it's like, okay, you know, um, we gotta go out there and do what we gotta do. Um, I, I really think that was the turning point there. Um, we were down two scores, and we had to do something on offense. And so we started making plays on defense, getting stops, uh, so we can go ahead and, and get the ball back and put the put the ball in the end zone again. Big win for you the job that the defense did once you guys got that first score to just keep turning them away. And exactly. Get I, yeah. Um, offense wasn't you know, clicking at all. Um, the defense definitely did a great job once we got going uh, to, to, to keep us in the game so we can go ahead and, uh, and really finish off the game uh, you know, in a big way. Big win for you guys, but where do you guys go from here? A short week and going to Kansas City? Um, like you said, um, we got to get back to work. Um, no time for uh, celebrating much. Um, 
Thursday night game, the vision, the rival. Uh, this is everything we want. So uh, I'm excited, and everybody on this team is excited for this opportunity. Uh, so it's time to get back to work. You got 10 wins, man. You can smile. Yeah, I'm smiling. I'm happy. Trust me. Don't get me wrong. But um, this is another big one for us. And uh, again, we're, uh, we still have some work to do. And, uh, they stand in the way of that. They really do. And so um, I'll smile when uh, we get our goal at the end of the season. It's been a few weeks since you guys have had any runs of 10 yards or more. You guys were able to break a few uh, runs. To what, what helped kind of get that going? Get the end of break uh, a few? Game plan. Again, the O-line starts with that most run. Uh, and that's just uh, trusting um, to get us in the second level, making some guys miss, uh, finishing the runs. Is there any better closer in the game than Khalil Mack? Uh, no. Not at all. Um. Oh, we, we feed off each other. No, that's for sure. You know, you can always tell, this, you know, someone makes a play, the stadium gets going, and it's the momentum starts swinging, and, you know, it's a great thing, you know. And uh, I, I, I say it all the time, but I'm glad they took him first. You know, I'm glad he's on my team, and, uh, you know, I'm glad that we can, you know, help lead this team together. You know, it's, it's really fun. Well, you know, obviously, yeah, if you look at it that way, yeah. Um, but in our heads and on offense, we're like, man, we are shooting ourselves in the foot. Like, you know, we feel like we can move the ball. We feel like we can make a lot of plays. And, uh, you know, I think that that's just the confidence and the belief we have in each other is just, you know, we, you know, we expect to go out there and score points, obviously, just like everyone in the NFL does. But, uh, you know, when things were going bad, we're just like, guys, just stay the course because if we just make the plays we're supposed to make, you know, we can score a lot of points. Yeah, I definitely think that that helped us. Uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, that, that just takes me, that always takes me back to my college days. You know, we were up on the ball within, you know, five seconds of it being spotted every time, you know, and just putting pressure on that way. You know, it's just, it's just another tool in our toolbox that we have that we can use, you know, and it's so cool that, uh, you know, we can use that as a weapon. And, uh, you know, whether we need it sometimes, whether we don't need it, you know, so there's been games we haven't used it once, but, you know, sometimes if we need to go to it, we can go to it, and it's, it's nice to have. Yeah, we, you know, we have a good group. But we, we have a lot of talk that goes on. A lot of communication goes on in the huddle, um, you know, uh, which, is, which is awesome because I, I love to communicate. I love to talk about what's going on in the situations and all that. But, um, you know, when the momentum is starting to build, you know, I try and get everybody to just, hey, take a deep breath. You know, everyone's, you know, everyone's excited because Khalil made another splash play or th something like that. And I just, hey, take a deep breath. Let's make sure that we're, you know, assignment sound. You know, let's make sure we don't forget the little details, uh, you know, with our mind being on, you know, the big play that just happened. I'm sorry, what was the first thing you said? Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, it feels good, obviously, you know, to get the 10th win. Uh, never done that. You know, I've never won more than seven, so uh, that definitely feels a lot better. Uh, you know, we know uh, that in our division, we just have to keep winning. You know, uh, you know, Kansas City, Denver, San Diego, everybody, everybody's so good, you know, that we, we just, we're not focused on, you know, what game it is or how many wins we have. We're focused that, you know, Kansas City is next, and, you know, we obviously know the tough test that that is. We need to go, you know, compete and get a win there. No, it was easy. No, 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 thank you. Going into the half, you guys have 30 seconds left. They're at your own, uh, I think it's about the 20-yard line. You go down there and get that field goal. How big was that? And is there a time earlier in your career where you maybe just sit on the ball with 30 seconds left going into the half? You know, I don't know. You know, that's, uh, you know, I think that that was a big, a big deal for us. You know, it's nice to have, a, you know, the Polish cannon on our side. You know, we know that if we can get him past the 50, we always got a shot, you know, and uh, he always tells me that. And, uh, you know, Coop, Coop did a good job of making a big play. Crab made a nice one. I, I felt bad because I had to get him hit, but, you know, we kind of needed the yards. And, uh, you know, he made a good play. And then Latavius on those two, you know, two runs that he had after the little check downs, uh, you know, th those are big plays to get down there. And I don't know, you know, the pass or anything like that. I just know that Coach Del Rio has faith in us. You know, usually you look up at the clock and you see a lot of people take a knee in that situation. But I'm just thankful that, you know, even backed up to where we were, he said, no, nah, man, go. You know, let's go get some points. And, you know, you know, it just builds confidence and belief in the team, you know, and, and in the players. It really does. Yeah. 
you know, we, we had to stop making, you know, dumb penalties. You know, we had to, you know, make sure that, you know, it goes back to basics for us. You know, when, whenever things aren't clicking, it's like, hey, man, you know, Derek, make sure you're accurate. You know, the, you know Tay, make, hit the runs. O-line, make sure we're assignment sound. Receivers, make sure we're, you know, running the routes at the right depth and things like that. That's where we go. We go back to basics, and it's just like, you know, we can make plays, guys. We're doing everything fine, but, hey, let's – uh, maybe it's another focus. Maybe it's you know let's shift our thought you know on what we really need to do. Um, you know I don't know what it is for each guy, but you know everyone has their little thing of just hey let's refocus and just make sure uh, that we go out there and do what we're capable of doing. Oh no, man! I'm the same guy all the time. You know I I, I, I don't want to be. <laughs> You know, put into two separate things, man. I try and be the same dude all the time, to be honest. Uh, you know, you, we can watch the film and see that, you know, we're really close to having 21 points in the first half, and, you know, we're not having that conversation. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't look too much into it. Derek, you guys are pretty much a, a trendy pick to, to be a team that's going to turn around this year. Yeah. And you've played 10 games. you got 10 games, a quarter of the season to go before you got 10 wins. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you already know. I see your smile. Yeah, yeah, I see your smile. No, but it's a, uh, it's an exciting time, man. I can't lie about it. It's an exciting time in Oakland. It is for our fans. It's it's really exciting. You know, look how many people are in here now. You know, I remember my rookie year. It didn't look like this. Uh, you know, so it, it's definitely fun times. We've come a long way, um, as as everyone here knows, has been with us. Uh, we've come a long way. So we're enjoying it. We're we're very thankful. Um, but at the same time, we don't talk about you know it goes through us or anything like that. You know, we, we still have yet to do anything. You know, we're just playing regular season football right now, and so hopefully we'll just keep stacking up wins and put ourselves in a good position. Yeah. 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 It, it's easy. It's easy because we have such a good group. Um, I could see if we didn't have a good group, it'd be like pulling teeth. You know, honestly. Um, but we everybody. You know, I can speak offensively. I'm sure it's the same way on the other side. Everyone on our side of the ball always believes that we can go score points, you know, because we've done it against some of the best teams this league has really ever seen. And so we always have that belief and faith in one another that, you know, if we just do our job, you know, it's only a matter of time, you know. Uh, it's only a matter of time before someone makes that play or, you know, we hit that big play or big run. And so, uh, you know, I think that uh, a lot of the credit just goes to the character of the guys in our room. And that goes from... You know, that starts with, you know, Reggie, you know, and you know, Coach Del Rio bringing in guys that, you know, have that same mindset. Derek, do you keep your two fingers taped together all the time or do you just forget to take off the tape after the game? No, no, I just, I taped them together so you'd ask. <laughs> What's the answer? To what? Do you keep them taped together all the time? Uh, if I feel like it. Is it because uh, it would hurt if you didn't have them taped together? No, like no pain, no pain, no, no pain, it's great. I'm off the injury report, so I really don't know what you're talking about. It's more of a fashion statement. It matches my That's what I was trying to say. Fashion, it's fashion statement. Are you good with that? Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I'm good. It really, it really didn't. If I missed a throw, it was just because of me. You know, I, to be honest, I, 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 they took me off the injury report for a reason. You know, it didn't. It, it was not affecting me at all. Uh, just leaving it taped, just precautionary. You know, just to be safe. I, you guys know I love Brett Favre. Uh, you know I love watching Brett Favre play. Um, and it's really just the excitement he played with, and I just try and I, I, when I leave this game someday, you know, no one will ever say he didn't play with passion. You know, uh, and that's something that I always got when I watch you know Brett Favre play. Is he played passionately? He loved his teammates, and you know that's something that you know hopefully they'll say about me when I'm done. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's the most important thing to me. That's why it kept me grounded. It kept me uh, focused when we weren't very good at football, <laughs> you know, honestly. Uh, you know, I've seen, uh, I've seen a lot of people, um, obviously, in my three years here, uh, they go through a lot of ups and a lot of downs, and they have no foundation. And uh, I'm just thankful that, you know, I have a foundation that I can always rely on, and uh, I'm never ashamed of that. And, uh, you know, I'm very thankful for it, and it's why I'm here today. It really is. That's the only reason.
Oh, sorry, I didn't ask. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, my brother obviously helped me with the mental side of the game. You know, he, the number one thing he always told me is you got to protect yourself for obvious reasons, right? Um, you know, sometimes he didn't really have a choice, but, uh, you know, uh, that's, that's the number one thing is uh, he always taught me how to pick up blitzes and understand that stuff. You're welcome. Absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things. Like, dang, <laughs> you know, it's just like when I miss a throw, it's like, man, that was a huge opportunity. And uh, the cool thing about our team is like, no one, no one's ever pointing fingers. No one's ever like, you should have made that play or anything like that. I mean, you guys know. Uh, I think there was a time this year where maybe Seth dropped one, and they ended up catching the game winner right after that. You know, there's no, there's no doubt in my decision making. You know. Meaning, you know, there's no doubt that I'm going to come back to him. You know, there's no doubt in my mind, no hesitation uh, that I'm going to keep trying to feed him the ball. So, um, you know, I think that, like I said before, we have a great group of guys that have been brought in here that, you know, they understand the game. They understand everyone messes up, and they understand that we still rely on each other, and, you know, we got each other's back. Yeah, man, Bakersfield Christian, go Eagles. Bakersfield Christian Eagles. Uh, you know, they, they, they won their, you know, Valley Championship. I remember winning mine back in the Fog Bowl in Corcoran. Uh, and uh, I'm, th- I'm, I'm really proud of them, man. You know, I'm really proud of them. I'm thankful, uh, you know, that they keep me, you know, in the loop. You know, they keep me in the loop, and they have me on the program as the hype man. So I'm thankful to be on that coaching staff as well. Uh, you know, but uh, hopefully, hopefully they send me a ring, though. You know, that, that's the main thing. But, you know, they're, they're going on, man. Hopefully they win state, too. Yep. You know I'm voting for Khalil. I never vote for myself for anything. <laughs> I'm voting for Khalil. There's no doubt about it. You know, I think, uh, so, you know, I remember playing basketball when you'd shoot a shot and you'd feel like, man, I can't miss. You know, the, the basket's three feet, you know, wide right now. And uh, all of that came down to, all the hours you put in the gym, all the hours, you, and you know, you, I sat there with my dad rebounding, throwing me passes, jump shot after jump shot, and that's the same thing with our team. Is we put so much time in. There's so many guys on this team. When team meeting says whatever eight o'clock, there's guys meeting on their own together. Uh, you know, at seven o'clock. You know, there's guys meeting on their own at six o'clock. That is why you can go out there and you know be confident, even when it's not going well. To be honest, um, you know, I don't think that there's anything like. You know, just magical. You know that you know you're just in the zone and it's just working. You know, uh, I, I really do believe that hard work pays off. You know, I, I just I, that's what I, that's that's what got me here and that's what I'm gonna continue to believe. Yeah. I would say it feels like what the what the Lakers deal do. Uh, <laughs> that's a jab at Steph for wearing a Panthers jersey in our stadium. Uh, I'm just, I'm just kidding, man. He's a great dude. But yeah, they go on those runs, man. And, you know, uh, that's kind of what it felt like. You know, when you're scoring points and the defense is making stops. You know, you know, you know. Lucky for me, you know, I only have to do it on one end. You know, they they have to do it on both. But uh, I, it felt good, man. It felt like it did have that feel to it, like a basketball game. But man, I'm just thankful we won. I think we are uh, really too much, you know, dwell on the score. Mm-hmm. Like it's four, we down 15, we need this, we don't panic. No sweat. I think we just go out there and play ball. Where did you feel the momentum in the game change? Where did I feel it? Mm-hmm. Where did you see it? When was it when the defense like held them to three and out? That's or? when everybody, you know, the team, <laughs> you know, everybody played a big part in this win and everybody did their job. And we, we handled it right, and we came out with the dirt. How impressive was it to see Derek play like every snap out of the shotgun? I mean, it was an, an unusual look for him to do that, and he was able to, to, to get to move the ball. Like I said, by any means, man. Mm-hmm. And we need to, you know, get on the center, snap, however you need to do it, we're going to get it. Is there, is there such thing as a fast Sunday? We need a quick, quick, we'll call it quick Sunday. All right, uh, obviously with the extremely short week, First thing we want to do is enjoy the win. It's great to great to get win number ten. Uh, we want to keep stacking up wins best we can. Uh, it was a good football team that we played. Uh, they had some. Uh, they gave us all we could handle early, and uh, even early into the third quarter, 
and then uh, I felt like all three phases kind of clicked and started coming together, and, um, and we pulled away and took control of the game. So really good team effort. You know, I think everybody contributed, and um, we've been really good about kind of staying the course and staying in the fight and uh, fighting away. And uh, today was another example of that. So really, really proud of our guys and, uh, you know, encouraged to uh, enjoy this one quick and then uh, come in ready to work tomorrow, getting prepared for the trip to Kansas City. So questions? Well, um, there were a couple of things schematically, but I think most importantly, I think we just settled in and started making plays, started doing our job. And, um, you know, once we started doing that, um, I think you saw what we're capable of as a football team when all three phases come together. No, we're, we're always engaged with our guys, so... It wasn't anything that dramatic that occurred at one point or another. I think it was, um, you know, us stay, stay in the course. Well, we're gonna we're gonna give each other uh, sixty minutes worth, you know, or more if it if it need be. Um, you know, we're committed to that for each other. Uh, every player in that room, every coach in that room, um, you know, that's what we're going to give. We're going to give great effort, you know, and um, and go out there and play the full game, you know, and know that you know, we believe as long as we stay together and give that kind of effort, we can have happy endings, you know, where we, you know, have a big smile. So, you know, of course, that's uh, that's what we're all about is finding a way to win somehow, somehow some way, and uh, being able to smile when you go home. Uh, I like I like both. I, li- I like getting the twenty nine. I like giving the zero. So <laughs> you know, you only choose one. Uh, yeah. Well, fortunately, they add up. They they, they work together. Uh, you know. We're- yeah, baby. Ten and two. Man, ten and two. What it do? We here. Ten and two. Ten out of twelve games. We ten and two, and we here. We keep on going, baby. We here. <laughs> By any means, baby. You know that. Come on. Long as we. Just keep putting effort together with preparation. Uh, this football team can be special. Let's just keep stacking wins together. Let's keep growing. Let's keep learning. Okay? All right. Congratulations, man. 10 and 2. A hell of a job. We played Thursday night. We got a quick turnaround. No, what do I tell you about? How, do you think anybody cares? Nobody cares. Whether we're going to be a little bit sore, or a little bit tired on Thursday. No, sir. We're going to be excited to go play. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter. Let's go play. That's what we're going to do. All right? <laughs> Hell of a job, man. I'm really proud of you. Ring it in. Ring it in. Ring it in. Really proud of you, man. Here we go. Here we go. Keep getting better, man. Raiders on three. One, two, three. You were going to make a statement. After that penalty, he came in my face. So, I mean, you know. Yeah, the ref, do, you know, they do a good job, man. I just, you know, playing ball, you know. Looks like you were on a mission, though, from that point forward. Yeah, man. Uh, by any means. We say that all the time, and I think that's going to be our quote for now, by any means, you know. Uh, we don't care if it's ugly, if it's pretty. We can, by any means, we're going to make it happen. We end up with the... How big is this game coming up for you guys, going to Kansas City now? You know, It's real big, real big. Conference, real big. We need this one. Everybody on the same page. And we're going to go out here and play ball. Do you guys feel, no matter how far behind you get, that you, you have this ability to come back and play games now? Uh, I don't think that's the thought process. I think um, it's whatever whatever we need to do to win. You know, I don't we're able to pull ahead while we're not letting them score and then while we are scoring ourselves. So, um, uh, you know, it's really good for us. The Shady was gone for a series. He probably just catching his breath. <laughs> he's running crazy. I mean, the guy's a heck of a running back. I, you know, he's he's one of the one of the best in the business. And uh, 
you know, I told him that afterwards. I said, man, you are one heck of a running back. I've got a lot of respect for you. So, um, yeah, he's a good player. You know, he made, made life difficult for us. Uh, but we settled in, got, got the stops we needed, and, uh, and got a nice victory. It seemed, it seemed like late that before he would get past the first guy and know he would be there, but in the third quarter, there was always someone to clean up when they shook the first guy. But the key to eventually. Have more than one guy there? Yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> Tough, tough to tackle him by himself. You know, reminds me a little bit of a guy I played against named Barry Sanders. Um, you know, just because he's, he makes so many people miss, uh, has that ability to kind of hover a little bit and then accelerate, and uh, not a lot of guys can do that. I think he's pretty good in the first, second, third, fourth. I think, I think he's a pretty good player. Um, we feel like we've got a good team. And uh, we just continue doing the things that we need to do to, you know, make the plays and win the game. Jack, did Derek get dinged on his left hand in that third quarter? It looked like you couldn't look down the sidelines. I think he was okay. I think maybe, maybe after uh, uh, one of those runs, I just want to make sure everything was okay, but I think he was fine. Jack yeah. Marquette picking up the flag, did you laugh that off? Or did you well, you know, uh, it's, a, it's definitely a teachable moment. Um, he's, you know, he, he's not mean-spirited with what he's doing. He's having fun. He enjoys himself. He had the Pee Wee Herman out there today. Um, I saw that. I got a giggle. You know, it's like, you know, he's enjoying himself, you know. Now, right there, I mean, he just didn't realize you can't do that. And he was like, really? I, I couldn't do that? Oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Ref, you know. So, um, I mean, he, he, it really was, um, it was innocent, and obviously, you know, we'll make sure we don't leave any stone unturned when it comes to teaching to make sure we understand what we need to do there. But that, that should never happen again. Jack, is it to the point yet where at the end of a close game or in the game, you're just kind of waiting for the Khalil Mack to set? Man, he, <laughs> Khalil Mack uh, is, uh, is really making his mark on these ball games, you know, and, uh, you know, that interception that he caused, you know, um, you know, I mean, he's just, he just keeps showing up huge and, um, that's what great players do. And he's a great player. Jack, this uh, game against Kansas City, is it just another game on your schedule or is it something that you need to prove to yourself and your team? It's Chiefs week, man. We mean another game. Yeah. I understand that. <laughs> Uh, I took I took a Denver team winning. I beat them twice. They were nine and zero. We went in there and beat them twice. So for us, um, they they won the first first one here, um, and uh, we look forward to going in there and competing. You know, it's a good football team. 